Hi everyone, welcome to another Divinity Engine 2 tutorial. And in this lesson, I want to cover the topic of creating walls and buildings. So uh, in, we'll start off by adding a, uh, a wall item. So by default, you probably have something like this. Uh, one quick shortcut you can do is right clicking on a particular item and it'll isolate so that that type is the only thing you see. So something real convenient for finding item types really quickly. The next thing we want to do is we'll go ahead and grab one of these city houses. So we'll just grab this city house A and we'll drag and drop it to the scene. Oh, that is not the one we want. Um, here it is, city house, it's this one. All right, and let's go ahead and let's build out a building with this. So I'm gonna grab my edit wall tool and I'm just gonna start dragging it out. Right? And notice as I drag it out, it's basically creating a building. And there we go. All right, and then notice some of the pieces here aren't exactly correct. So let's go ahead and start off by fixing those. So I'm gonna select this piece and just hold control and scroll on my mouse wheel. There we go, this one as well, and this one as well. So right now this piece has a door opening right there at the corner, which we could use, but uh, I don't wanna use it right now. So we'll just make a square corner on all of those. The next thing we can do is we can also split these into multiple pieces. So let's say I right click here and I say split wall piece. So now I have two instead of one big one. And now I can create a couple of variations. So let's say I wanna do Let's split this one as well. And so we'll just have like um, maybe alternating. Right? And this one again with the two piece. It's actually cool, I like these. Right? All right, and now let's go ahead and let's add a roof. Oh, let's add first a, uh, a floor to this. So what I'm gonna do is right here where it says type, I'm gonna click the down button and select floor. And so notice it adds a floor on the bottom, uh, but it kind of interpenetrates with the sand. So we just wanna give this a little bit of a lift, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, add to the floor height here, and I'm just gonna add this to like maybe 0.1. There we go. And notice because of the piece we chose here, um, the floor doesn't go all the way out to the edge. So um, to avoid any sort of issues here, um, there's, there's gonna be other ways to fix this, but to avoid any issues right now, I'm just gonna switch this to a flat piece. There we go. All right. All right, and let's say here on the front, we just have, there we go. Let's fix this corner as well. All right, and now let's add a roof. So, uh, oh, before we do that, again, I apologize. Um, we need to adjust the tiling. So notice, you know, we've got some pretty good uh, patterns here on the walls, but our floor tile is tiling way too much. If we uh, also take a look at textile density, so which is gonna be this button right here, right? We're gonna see that this is way too dense in comparison to the uh, wall and the trims. Right, so notice as I lower this value, it's gonna get closer to that green. So if I do a 0.5, it's uh, actually not adjusting much. 0.2, right, now it's at a red. And then if I do 0.1, it'll be at a green. However, when you're at that green, and let's switch back, you'll notice that these planks are gigantic, right? So we definitely don't want that. So we're just gonna to go to something like 0.25, and that's okay. Basically what's happening is um, if you can be higher, that's okay. You just don't want to be um, lower than what color these are, right? Because that means that you have a large inconsistency between this, this wall and the floor texture. All right, so let's go ahead and let's add a roof. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select this section, tap the two key for move, all right, and notice I have my grid turned on. You can set that on preferences with Control-P. 
if you don't have it on, you just set it on here, snap to grid, as well as the grid size. All right, and what I'm going to do is I want to duplicate this building exactly on top of this one. So I'm just going to hold shift and drag on the uh, Y or Z axis. I'm not sure how, what they call it here. And then I'm going to change the name. I'm just going to call this roof. Right, just for my own reference. And then for the template, I'm just going to click this button, type in roof. And I'm going to switch it to that city house roof A. Now notice some, again, some of those sections are flipped the wrong way. So I'm going to switch to my edit wall tool. And then I'll select each individual uh, component of it. And I'm just going to scroll the mouse wheel until it builds out. The shapes I'm looking for. There we go. And sometimes it gets a little tough to select certain ones. There we go. You just kind of have to finagle with it a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Now we have, you know, a nice building with a nice roof on top. The last thing we want to do is let's go ahead and add a door. And this section right here seems perfect for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split this. And uh, I'm going to split this. And let's delete these two right here. So I guess maybe we'll just put it here just to keep it easy. Oops. Sorry. There we go. All right. And again, we'll split this. And then let's just put our door here. Uh, notice too, there's some inner penetration that's happening right there, which is not good. So let's go ahead and move our roof first. And let's just make sure there's no gap in between. There's a slight gap right there. So what we're gonna do is let's turn on our preferences. Let's adjust our snapping. So from 0.5, let's half that to 0.25. And let's go ahead and snap down. There we go. And then we'll switch back this up to 0.5. All right. Lastly, let's go ahead and uh, let's turn one of these into a doorway. So I'll select this section out. Right click and say create door. And notice the door is backwards. So I'm going to right click it and say rotate intersection. Uh, let's try one more time. Maybe, uh, there we go. That piece probably was uh, two-sided. All right, so now we can add a door. So let's go ahead and right-click on items so that all we're seeing are items. And let's type in door. And now we've got, um, let's see, try to match it, right? City house door. Sometimes they won't fit if you don't, right? And let's drag and drop that into the scene. And let's just kind of make sure it's snapped. And there's our door. Let's uh, zoom in and make sure it's actually 
in frame and it's not, it seems, right? So again, we're going to have to adjust our snapping. Half this again. And let's uh, get a little bit more precise. There we go. All right, and there is our house. Thank you guys. I hope this helped out. And until next time, happy modding.